Hello everyone, welcome. <coughs> In this video, we're going to go over task 2, which is create a custom roles uh, using the power cell in a JSON file. We are following the GitHub Labs for AZ104 Microsoft Azure Administrator Lab series uh, that are freely available on GitHub. We're just going to follow this exercise with this and in the previous uh, lab we have completed the task one which is implementing a management group and here we're going to implement a custom RBAC role from um, from a uh, parcel okay <coughs> so so what is telling us to open this file and look at the contents so I'm just gonna copy this file I've already pasted it in here let's repaste it here so if you see <coughs> the name, I have support request contributor custom role. Is custom, am I saying that it's true? Description allowed to create support request. And accents, and it's saying the Microsoft resource, subscription, resource group read, and Microsoft read. So those two has to have, those permission needs to be there. And here the permission is more at a granular level where under Microsoft support you have everything so here you can read and create and delete and do all kinds of stuff over here under the subscription you can resource under any resource group you can read anything that you have under resource group but for the support you have more power there's nothing defined for not actions and assignable scope uh, this is trying to assign the scope to the management group and also the, the subscription but for my case, I just want to put it in my to my subscription only. So let's get the subscription ID. So if I go to home subscriptions, uh, so here my subscription ID. So I can copy that one. Uh, come back over here and uh, save it. And uh, let's see and. I just saved it as rbac lab.txt. You should probably save it as a JSON file and just upload it. So now, once we have this file ready for us, I'm just going to go to uh, my Azure account, click over here to open up my cloud cell. Let's see if it's ready for me. Okay, I'm going to close it. Try it one more time. Okay, so it's opening up the cloud cell. If you're doing it for the first time, it may ask you for a storage account. Just say okay. And now uh, I can open and uh, load this file in this environment. And once it's done, let's see if I have any other VR. So I can just run this new AZ role definition. And under home, this file is already available. So I can run this command. So if you run this command, see this says the name is this. This is the object ID is custom true. Description allows to create support request. This is the actions. Nothing under not actions, data actions, and no data actions. And assignable to my, the scope is my subscription. So let's go back to the lab. So we have done this part. We have done uh, section two. We went to the cloud cell and we ran that command. Okay, so we have done uh, this command. So our role is now available. Now, how do you know that if this role is available to you or not? Uh, to this, to, to just verify that you have this available the role available to you, you can go back to your Active Directory. Let me reduce or close this window now. And uh, users most likely, no, not you under users, Let's go back go to roles and administrators and da, 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 is it in here it's not here so let's go uh, we assign this under subscription so let's uh, go to subscriptions open the subscriptions and under subscription go to the IAM and under IAM <coughs> go to roles okay so <coughs> these roles <coughs> <clears throat> These are all the roles that you can assign to this subscription level. And you can either search the role by the name over here. Easier here. 
you can select the role whether it's a built-in or custom since we just created a custom role I'm just going to select that one and it says no roles to display so this most likely is going to take a little bit of time to populate and show up under this plate okay so you don't get dessert and if you don't see that um, and I from here I don't see that this role is completely popular so do some refresh action over here from the standpoint of the lab you have already finished the lab I'm just doing giving you some extra stuff so that you understand where to find that role and how to assign that role to somebody else so I'm gonna try it one more time over here custom role and right here the role is now popular so this is the role that we have just created and so you have verified the custom role is there and it's coming under the custom role type okay so let's recap real quick so in this lab uh, we created a custom role uh, from a JSON file we uploaded the file to the cloud cell environment and we ran the command new AZ role definition to create the new role we went to the subscription and verified that role is now available now in the next video we will assign this new role to a user so that's coming up so this that's all for this video thank you for watching if you like it please give me a like and a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos thank you